Okay, so there is another bug with Safari on macOS Catalina. I haven't encountered this in previous versions, so it leads me to believe it's either a new bug in Catalina or something involved with Sidecar. Um, so let's go to open up a new window. And let me first of all show you what I'm trying to do. So I like to have a window open next to my code editor so I can always easily switch over to look up some information in docs or something. Um, so this is what I want. I've got my three pin tabs here that I can switch between on both screens and a new tab, a new window here to just search up documents or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full screen and then what I would normally do is go control T to bring up the tab bar so I can change my tabs. So that that's what, how I'm supposed to do it and then I'd obviously just drag it over next to my code editor just like that. Okay, so let me show you the bug, all right? You just go right click, new window, and then when it comes up, hit the full screen, and wait for it, wait for it, there we go. So I didn't interact with it at all, didn't move the mouse or anything, it just, the tab bar, just the, not tab bar, the address bar just disappears completely. So let's try and do Command-T, like I said before, to bring up the tab bar. Command-T, and there we go. The, the context of the page dropped down about the same height as tabs, but there is, no, there is no bar here for it. So I don't know if there's anything under View, uh, Show Tabs Overview, maybe. There's, there's just this white bar at the top where I think the address bar should be. Let's go back onto this tab and see if I can get that to come up. No, it just disappears again. So view. Um, always show toolbar in full screen selected. Um, history. Um, window. So you can see I've got another window on a different screen, which is sidecar. Uh, let me show you that quickly. It's obviously in USB mode because I can see other Wi-Fi networks and sidecar is connected as a separate monitor. Um, file, history, edit, view, history. Okay, let's go to Safari settings so you can see them. Okay, general, tabs, autofill, passwords, search, security, privacy, websites, Extensions, Advanced, Close. Okay, so let's how to get rid of this because well obviously there's no bar to, to like minimize it. What you have to do is use three finger swipe up, and the top left corner here just hit the um, minimize option. Click back to this one. Let's close this window and uh, try again. So new window full screen. Okay, so it worked this time, Command T. And let's try it a few more times. So let's try a private window this time. As soon as it comes up, I've got to hit this full screen bar. I'm using a trackpad, so maybe I'm not quick enough. And the bar should disappear. Yep, there it is. So what's happened is the bar has disappeared. This time the um, context area haven't, hasn't expanded right to the very top, but the bar has gone away. Um, if I do Command T, does it come back? No, it doesn't. So when I did Command T to bring up the tabs, the context area refreshed its height. Um, and then that white bar across the top disappeared. But obviously we don't have any address bar or tabs bar. So we have to go swipe up, minimize, and close that. Let's try one more time. As soon as it comes up, press it quickly. There we are. It's gone again. Um, okay, if we swipe up, minimize it. So the browser, the, ta the new windows have a bit of time to load. Now you full screen it, and the issue doesn't happen. So if if you do it slowly, the issue doesn't happen. If you do, if you make your, um, if you interact with the interface very quickly, then the interface has issues. So that leads me to believe there are race conditions involved, which is a very poor design. So um, 
hopefully they can address this bug. There are a lot of bugs in Safari and Mac OS Catalina. I'm trying to get them all resolved, but I've got about 20 or so in my bugs to report folder. And uh, let's see if we can get through them all.